I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms, and we're going to expand each logarithm. So, if I was given this logarithm, the log of 6 times 11, okay? So, we know we could just multiply 6 times 11, that'd be the logarithm of 66, right? But, when we want to expand that logarithm, we see multiplication going on in the middle. When we think multiplication, it's really like the next level of addition. So, I'm going to take logarithm, uh, the multiplication right there, right? What's going on? And I can separate the 6 and 11 to be two different logarithms. So, we have the log of 6 plus the log of 11. So, when you see multiplication going on inside of the logarithm, same thing as addition outside. You separate into two different logarithms. And that's it. Our final answer here, pretty simple, is the log of 6 plus log of 11. So let's recap. We're just quickly given a uh, log of 6 times 11. Well, if it's multiplication on the inside, 6 times 11, we can separate that to two different logs, okay, and put addition between them and have the 6 right there and 11 right there, giving us, again, our final answer, uh, expanded version, log of 6 plus log of 11. 